After defeating the Pastoria City Gym, you want to head straight over to the Great Marsh. Well, heal first if you need it. But head over to the Great Marsh. Pay the $500 fee to get in. Uh, and as soon as you enter, don't do what I did and just run to the back over here and do all this stuff. I mean, if you want to, you can. But talk to this green-haired person here. They will give you the HM Defog. Or not an HM anymore, but they will give you the Hidden Move Defog. And with that, you'll be able to get through the route. That should be the first thing you do. Next up, you want to talk to this Team Galactic grunt right outside the great marsh uh and you will have to kind of chase him around a little bit so when you follow him down to the right uh in pastoria he'll again run away because that's what team galactic does best i guess but before you can chase him your rival barry comes to uh stop you to battle you uh his team hasn't really changed too much uh just some evolved pokemon now once you get through him head to the right out of pastoria city and continue to chase the team rocket grunt where eventually you will end up at the beach head down uh keep continuing to the right there and you will find the team galactic grunt again and guess what oh surprise surprise he runs away so you want to head to the valor lake front and talk to him one more time and guess what happens he runs away <laughs> so he leaves you but this time when you chase after him he finally stands his ground like a brave person and he will battle you however he's only got a purloin so he shouldn't be too much of a problem if you started with you know monferno or you have a fighting type it should be no issue for you and once you beat him you want to head up same direction as he does go up and you'll run into the big bad champion cynthia and she will give you the secret potion get through all this dialogue here uh you talk about the psyduck on route 110 which we will be heading to so she gives you a secret medicine uh you head over to uh route 210 now you're gonna see right now we're gonna fly over to Celestion town as route 110 is above that if i can find it it's right there uh if you guys wanted to see where it was on the map you head to Celestion town and you go north of it go up here next to the flower shop to the back left and talk to these or not talk to them but give the secret medicine to the psyduck they'll run away a uh, little cutscene will play where they run away one of them gets a little lost uh, now you continue up the route and eventually you will come to this part and this is why getting defog first is really important uh you head up here and as you can see you can't well you can't see anything so this is what defog does it gets rid of all this fog uh and you are able to progress through the route now eventually you will end up in celestic town don't go to the top of the town like i did go to the bottom and you will see this old lady you get to talk to her she talks about cyrus and all that stuff and you can head towards these this cave in the middle of town talk to this team galactic grunt and they will battle you right away unlike the other one that kept running away uh they only have a beauty fly and krogunk so it shouldn't be too much of a problem uh once you beat them a little cutscene will play with the old lady and you can head inside the cave head towards the back and yet again another cutscene will play don't get stuck like i did over and over here like another cuts you were playing the old lady will give you surf which could be very useful uh which is very useful and something you need uh so head out of the cave and another cutscene another little cutscene will play where you have to talk to voldemort aka cyrus uh he'll you know it's just a bunch of story stuff he talks about how he wants to rule the world and do all that blah 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 and once you finish this conversation with cyrus you can fly back straight to heart home and finally finally uh fantina will be back at her gym and you are able to challenge her i'm just gonna cut straight to the gym you guys can get through the puzzle you need to know a little bit of math uh but here it is you finally get to face fantina uh, i got a little bit lost i figured some people out there might be a little bit lost too on what they need to do next after they beat crash and wake and hopefully you're as fortunate as i am uh, and you walk away with a victory over Fantina. She does have a level 32 Drift Blim, a level 34 Gengar, and a level 36 Miss Magius. So be prepared for that. Maybe take some Dark Types. Maybe take an Electro Type for that Drift Blim, a Psychic Type for that Gengar. Uh, and you should be good to go. So if you guys enjoyed the video and if this helped you in any way, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all the other stuff we got going on on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.